Hi there, I've got two journals I'd like to share with you today. They're two little ones, two wee ones. Um, with the same kind of format but both very different. They're both fabric covered, soft. Um, one signature, both of them have got 76 pages back to front. Um, yes, and I'll, I think I'll do this one first. So, as I said, it's one signature. She measures five, approximately five inches by six and a half. She is covered with fabric. It's a polyester cotton, it's actually a curtain fabric. And then I've used some of the sari that I've made um, books with in the past. I've used some of that. It's a chiffon ribbon, ribbon, <laughs> just to tie closed. And I've used pieces of the sari and I've just made an, an applique piece here. I had some of trim um, separate, trim again, and some more trim, no, under there there's, there's trim. Um, and I've, I've just laid it out there, I thought it looked quite nice. And then the spine, that's some from the sari again. And I love this colour of fabric, I think it works really well. And then on here I've just got pieces of the fabric and a tassel and a little dream catcher with a very light, what's well, a greeny turquoise, it's not really turquoise but it picks up the green from the lace, I thought, and a little pink bead. And the kit that I've used for both of these little books is from uh, Dream Zinc, so I'll put the link below for that shop. I'm called this one, I'm going to call this one Destiny just because I like it, <laughs> no other reason. She's quite chunky, although she's only got um, 76 pages back to front, she's still pretty full as you'll see. She's got a few notebooks in here. So there's some more gold trim, I've made a, a, lace, a lace pocket here with the fabric, the sari. Put some trim, some trim and then in this little pocket there's a nice tag and it says the story begins. And there's a little feather there. I really like that. And then here, this is from the kit and I've just made it into a, I don't know, is it a zine or a zine? I don't know what you call them, but it's a little booklet. Uh, it says, when a dragonfly appears, you know a fairy is near. Oh. Some uh, trim, lace trim down the sides. And then when you open it up, I've left it blank. The page is blank for you to do what you want in there. And then in this one, there's a little tag. It's all been stitched, there's a lot of stitching throughout, all the journals been stitched. Coffee dyed papers. So that one's got a tag here. This page, second page, has got a little tag here. Just punched out a little flower. Again, stitched onto coffee dyed paper. This one opens up and there's another one in here. Just a little bird's nest. I thought that went cute. And then in the back page, I just used some of the trim and a little fairy journaling card from the kit. And that just fits nicely in the front pocket. The paper um, that I've used to line um, the inside of the book is just some paper that I had in my stash. I can't even remember what pad it was from. <clears throat> Sorry. So this is from the kit. It's beautiful. I love the colours in this. It's all dragonflies and fairies, flowers. It's really bright. All stitched round again. And I'm taking this from the kit and I've just put some stickles on there. Journaling card. Stitched onto coffee dyed paper. Lined paper at the back of this one. And I've just made a little from some of the paper, or just a little bit to journal on. Leftover paper. I need to the holding page. And then I've made a belly band here. Some eyelash trim. And I've just layered some music paper and then the birds eyelash trim, some stickles. I've put some book page on there as well. 
and some lace trip that's paper, actually a die cut. And that fits in here. And then this is a tea bag that I've put, there's some linen. Uh, and then I've just put a ticket and a little lady with some gems. And then in the pocket it says where flowers bloom, so does hope. And that's from Tsunami Rose. And I've got some sari silk under there as well, if you can see in the green, just to pick up the greens. So there's lots of places to journal. And I'll show you when I get to the centre, I was going to mention. There's some fabric here. And then this is some ribbon that I had that I just thought went well with the fairy theme. I've put it on to layered it with some linen. There's a good sized journaling card and another little journaling card lying paper at the back. And this is from a little book that I have. And this page is about daisies. This was my first attempt at boiling paper, you know, the eco stamping. And I had great fun. It's frustrating, but I did enjoy it. Um, hopefully I will get better at it, but I do love the colours and the feel of the paper. So I've made a pocket there and you can just faintly see the leaves. Another card from the kit, journaling card. Some more of this ribbon, it's really tactile this ribbon. And I've made a little tag here. And that's on vellum. The ribbon goes around the back, make another pocket, another journaling card. Another page from the kit, and I've just used a, a little um, tag from the kit, I've resized it, some perils and some sari ribbons sewn on there. And this was a, a mushroom tag and I've just cut it down to size, I thought it made a nice tuck for there. And then we've got a little bag, I've put some glittery washi across, a little journaling card, paper from the kit. And this paper is about 170 GSM, so it's nice and thick. All of the paper is in here. A nice piece of lace that I've just put there. And then just a flip out for writing. Index card. Another fairy tuck spot here. Just made a tag from the kit. And again, it says play with fairies. Lady on the other side, and I've just put some gold ribbon at the top, it's stitched round, coffee dyed paper, doilies. She's lovely, that baby's lovely from the kit. I've done an altar paper clip, um, it's just a butterfly, some lace, some paper under there, and then it says, Let your day be filled with magic. Nice. I do like these clips. And this is just some white paper and I've been sp I sprayed it um, when I was spraying other things with the Lindy's and I just like how it looks so I'll put that in there. A nice salted paper clip and as always I like putting in some vintage pictures so I've put this little girl in. I thought she looked lovely in this one. She fits the page nicely. She's on coffee dyed paper so you can put another picture at the back or do some writing. And another pocket here, I think this one's from Nick the Booksmith, one of her kits. I've just folded it, made it into a pocket, and I've put a little envelope here, and another little fairy journaling card inside. Although she's small, um, she's got lots of journaling oops, spots tucked away. And there's some music, and then here there's a glassine bag. There's a journaling card that I've just made from pieces of the paper from the kit. And then inside the pocket, another one from the kit. And the pocket's quite sturdy. I was just playing with some um, tea bag paper and dye and it was just plain really. Eyelash trim, flower and a little pink bead. And that's the other side for writing. Lovely paper from the kit again. And this is the centre of the signature. Now the signature, 
I've not sewn it in. I've put it in, if you can see, with elastic, the way you would a traveller's notebook. So, when you open the envelope up, a Velcro closure, sorry, it's a bit of thread stuck there. There's a Velcro closure, a good sized envelope, another good sized journaling card here, another piece of parchment paper that I've lined, a piece of an index card, and wait, I'll just stand and make sure you can see what I'm going to try to show you, because inside you can see the knot there, and I've left enough rib, um, of the elastic that you can undo and renew it or tighten the book or loose, make it looser as you want, as you want, excuse me, as you wish. So that fits in there. I thought it was a nice idea to do a single signature this way, it just, just gives it a bit more flexibility really. And so what I've done is, although everything's stitched, glued, stitched down, there is a channel down there so that the, the um, elastic can move freely down the channel so that you can alter it. And then on this side of this envelope, I've just put some of the eco-stamped paper, a little saying that I found on the internet, Fresh, it says it's a rose fairy, rose fairy, it's a little poem. I've made a little flower with some stickles and a little pearl and a bit of lace. And that's the other side of the paper from the kit, an altered paper clip. Some more paper that I've stickled there, just for the texture. Music sheet, the other side of Nick the Booksmith's paper. And I've just put a ticket sheet paper for journaling and a resized little and I think that's from Artie Mays that pattern and then in this page it's stitched round and I put a flip up and it says dreamer of dreams with some linen and then I just put this saying on top and then there's a nice sized journaling card fits in. And then there's this pretty one, Fairy Song, lined at the back. It sits in too. And then I just made a flip up when I put a little vellum butterfly on there. And it just fits really well there, I thought, I thought that looked nice. Then it gives more spaces to hide things and write things. And I hope you can see the shine that's on the paper, it's lovely. There's this ribbon that I've just cut roughly on top of the linen. And then another journaling card goes there. And then this little card tucks nicely there. It's about fairies. Doilies. And then in this one I've made a double tuck. So there's a tuck here and then I've layered another piece of similar paper on top. And then there's a journaling card goes in here from the kit. And then this one's from the kit. I still believe in fairies. Then your index card. Just some fabric for some interest. And then this is from the kit. I've just cut that out and stickled on the flowers. Gosh, I've got eyelash trim everywhere. <laughs> um, another good sized tag. And another little tag. And then inside this um, side of the paper bag, with, it says spread your wings. Uh, this is just a piece of scrap paper that I had left from the kit. So I've made it into a little booklet, just with different bits of paper really. And that's some of the eco stamp paper, index card, bits and bobs. And there's another little card in there for journaling. Another altered paper clip. I thought the pink went well with the pink. Oops, a daisy. And then that's the same saying that's in the front booklet. Good size journaling space again. A 
that's the other side of the vellum. The pocket again, another full size card. And just make sure that's in there. And this is another one, ticket. I think that's from Nick the Booksmith, one of our kits too. Another one from the kit with the flower book. And then this, this was a bookmark and I decided to use it as a flip so that you could write there and I put paper here and just use some trim to hold that closed. And there's another little altered paper clip. And then in the other side it says amazing and another piece of paper just to journal with. And she is bulky because she's got a lot of you know ephemera and the, the booklets are in there. You can take them out um, and it, it will make a difference to the thickness of her, obviously, and just make it the way you want it. Edith Holden, again that nice saying. And then on the back page, we've got a little tag here, Metal Live Your Dream, it says. And then there's This Book Belongs To, coffee dyed paper, stitched round. And I've used um, the other metal trim from the front and the top. So that goes in that pocket. And then at the back, up here, there's another pocket. This is just a napkin that I've uh, put onto some cardstock, well, tea dyed cardstock. I thought it went nicely with the colours. And then in the middle pocket, there's some smaller journaling cards. And then in this bottom, second bottom, a couple of tickets. That's from Artie Mays, Enchanted Caroline. And then a teeny weeny weeny one from the kit, the fairy song. I just made into a wee teeny weeny booklet to tuck there. So that's the back pocket. I think it gives quite a few spaces just to put things. And nobody would see that that one's in the back at all, if that's what you wanted. So, I hope you like her. I really think she's pretty. I like her a lot. And she's a good size in the hand. And as I said, if you didn't want her as chunky, you can take a lot of this out. And that will slim the book right down. So, I'll just pop her out of the way. So that's Destiny. Now if you can see over there. And this one, this one I'm going to call um, Precious because I think this little girl is just so precious. She's so cute. This is a different style altogether. This is lace. She's secured with a white satin ribbon. I love these satin ribbons. If I could use them all the time, I would. Um, so there's the picture of the, the girl. And I don't know if you can see, I've, um, she has got some stickles on her. There's a little drop gem. It's a light kind of purpley, light looky colour. Again, I'm not sure if you're going to catch the light. I'm filming at a different time of day, so I'm not really getting a lot of light in here. So I hope this is going to work out. I've used a metal corner here and a metal corner up here. Again, she's a soft covered journal. Lightly padded. Both of them are lightly padded. They're quite firm, really. Um, she's got, it's a cotton with lilac, very light purple flowers on there, if you can just see it through the lace. Um, but then I've got some corrugated, corrugated board that I've painted, gessoed, and there's music sheets. There's various layers that you can't see. And then there's a little girl, and then there's a flower, there's some lace trim here. There's lace underneath here, and then there's lace, and then lace, and then there's a lace. So there's one, two, three layers of lace, then this lace with pearls, then the lace heart, a bow with white ribbon again, little pearl, little pearl here, pearl flower, 
this whole petals um, flower is down the spine. And then in the back, there's some more, that's vintage um, lace here. And then I've put some more lace trim at the top. And I really, really like her. She's lovely. So she's called Precious. Same format, one signature, 76 pages back to front. Again, really chunky. She does measure seven inches by the time you count in the trim. So it's, but she really, she's five by six and a half inches. Same kit. So if I open her up, her first page, I've put the Live Your Dream in Silver metal here. There's a lace pocket, linen underneath, and there's a little fairy, and it says, and the story begins. And then in the pocket at the back, there's a large tag, and I've just um, stenciled that with some lindies, some lace trim, some lace, and I've used Tim Holtz mini stapler. There's some lace trim down here, again it's cardstock that I've used. On the inside, there's some lace daisy, some um, sorry, daisy trim with some purple centres that I thought went nicely with the lilac look and the colours in the kit. And then this one, it's Morning Rose poem there. Made a little booklet, lace down here. There's some stickles in the fairy and her wings. Then when you open it up, there's some vellum. Another page from the kit, extra paper. That's some handmade paper. It's stitched down the centre. So it gives a fair bit to journal and it's all been stitched round. And it just fits nicely in the front. So lace trim here. Our skirt's been stickled, so as her wings. Need a hold in. And again, I'll just reposition her. The signature is held in place this time with a green elastic um, through the centre, the way you would a traveller's notebook. So Edith Holden, and then I've put a belly band here, and there's another little booklet here. So again, that's just Lindy's sprays. I put a little pocket in this one. There's a doily. It's stitched but it's also held the ribbon because you can take the booklet out and then just replace it and put a different paper in there if you wish. It says beautiful stickled with a little flower and then that says fairy whispers. Fairy whispers on that side and then on this side a large journaling card, coffee dyed paper, all stitched, pages have been stitched. Another altered paper clip, this time in the purple with the silver centre. Flower. On a heart. Thought that went nicely with the colours there. Some more of the eco stamp paper. And I did put a little vellum flower on this one and then I wasn't sure I should have because I don't actually think it needs anything. Journaling card, little boy, cute, cute vellum. And this one has lace in the pocket, another page from the kit. It's another journaling card from the kit. And again, this is one of the cards from the kit I've just cut down to fit. And I've lined it with coffee dyed paper. And this one's got a gold bag, another journaling card. Some more eyelash trim. <laughs> and then flowers that I uh, cut from the kit again, used it as a corner spot, some lace, a smaller journaling card, nice piece of green card, index card. Flower. And she should be pinned in, so I'll hold on because she should be there. So that flips out. And that's just a piece of ephemera. And I've put it onto coffee dyed again. 
doily and that's what I'm looking for because what is that? One, two, three, yep, this clip belongs here to hold that together. So it's the first old paper clip. And I just thought those colours went well against the papers. Another flip I've just added here. And I've used some of the glittery washi that I have that I really like. That's the paper again with the Lindy's stitched round. Then I flipped that back, made a pocket, some lace, another one of the daisies. And I've just folded a journaling card there. And then a little envelope, a little gem to hold it closed. And it's not going to open for me on camera. And that's empty for your own. There we go. Music sheet, ledger, some more washi, lace, some lace, and this is the centre pocket, so there's the elastic that you can see holding everything together. And this one's got a, a pocket, a small pocket, and then inside there's a note, and it just holds together underneath that little heart, that little um, circle there with the heart and the gem. And then behind it I put a tag. Again, some of the glittery washi, stamped flower. And then you flip it and this is, I've actually put that in the back of the bigger envelope. It's the same envelope I've resized. This one velcros and then when you open it up, there's one of those pieces of paper just all stitched round and I've just stamped a little flower and again from the kit lots of space to journal and then on this side this is a glassine bag on this one and I've put a fairy linen some crochet trim and in the, the in the glassine bag there's a little tag fairy song and then behind it that's a napkin that I've put onto some cardstock by last trim I thought that looked cute there and then the next altered paper clip and that's holding together this tag again that's a napkin that's one of the resized tags and I've used it as a tuck spot on top of the tag and I've put Imagine with a little pink gem and then just a piece of ephemera that tucks in. And that just clips on here. And then this one actually belongs there. It's just another little journaling spot. I've left it plain. The tuck spot a card that I had that I'd made up um, it was a moustache and I thought I've got a few of them actually I've got to use but I thought it went well there and then this one flips open and it's woodland, nature definitions you can journal on another, oops, another little fairy and this holds closed so that it looks like a faux envelope really. And it's another altered paper clip. This time I've used a piece of felt, just punched a circle, and put one of the daisies on top. And then another card from the kit. That's the paper with the Lindsay spray. Butterfly that I've put the stickles on. There's a corner tuck and there's fairy journaling spot and a teeny journaling spot, doily, some nice gold trim and then on this one this has got a pearl altered paper clip and then this folds out. Well for some reason my camera stopped so I'm going to whiz through this quickly before the battery dies. Just the last part of this book 
and hopefully the light will be a bit better. I've tried turning round the camera. Anyway, so this was the envelope that I was showing you when it crashed. So that's the little butterfly with the eyelash trim and the stickles. And then when you open it up, I've stitched another some cream paper to make a little notelet. I've left that blank all stitched round. Blank for your own use and then at the back there's a tag and then behind, top behind the tag there's another little tag. So that just folds over and then the altered oops, paper clip. And then there's that nice paper again, the gold bag, a copy dyed paper stitched round, just a notelet, uh, sorry, a small card there to journal with. And that's one of those other tags, the copy dyed stitched at the back, lace at the pocket and lace the vellum, the eco stamp paper. Two journaling cards. And then this is the vintage photograph, well not vintage, but it's the vintage style photograph. Um, little girl and it says Angel. I thought that was really cute and it went with this book very well. Another altered paper clip. Again, it's a heart shape and I've just used some um, lace and then some crocheted lace flower there. This will pearl and eyelash trim again. I'm trying to finish this before my battery goes completely flat. I flip up, this one says love. Gives a little tuck for another full size card there. And then on the other side, this is a bookmark in this book. You flip it up, some lace trim. And there's some more sheets here. Edith Holden, lace, and then I've done another one of these, um, it's Shabby Dabby Doo, sorry I always forget, but it's, it's her idea of this flip with the lamination, I really like it, so right behind that I've just cut out the fairy, some lace, laminated, and then you've got the coffee dyed paper at the back, and then behind that one, there's another, with the boy piece of paper, another tuck spot. And that's got the library card and Ex Libris. Well, I can't get my words out now. It's time for tea. There, lace trim and then the pretty lace down. And I love the fabric in this one, I love the lace. So hopefully, so thank you for watching. I hope that's a better picture of it in this light. Because she really is bonnie. Um, she really is. So hopefully she will be in the shop later tonight with the other one and tomorrow I will be able to put the tome, the carpet bagger hard backed tome um, up in the shop within the next 24 hours. So thanks very much for watching and as always if you like please subscribe. Um, I appreciate any comments. Uh, take care. Thank you.